Jared with the Hot Box Pizza Truck. It's Saturday, the day before Easter. And uh, we gotta bring some appetizers tomorrow. So, everybody loves the, uh, the pizza. yesterday a couple extra little dough balls left so here we go these are great because you can make them the day before leave them whole and then just slice them when you're ready bigger uh, 10 ounce dough balls but didn't matter. Let's do uh, let's do a white one first. Everybody's doing well. I tell you what, man, you guys have been getting me pumped up with all the feedback that I've been getting from you guys. Um, people, a lot of you guys are just now uh, are in the process of building trailers, trucks, ordering ovens. I mean, a bunch of you guys that are pretty much at the same point as each other and some of you guys are a little further along with your builds and whatever else but it's just cool to see I mean and people that have already got trailers you know talking to them just kind of comparing notes on different aspects of the business you know what it costs to run in your county or your state or you know one guy was telling me a friend of his had a power pole dropped and it cost him 10 grand I was blown away it cost me like a thousand bucks so it's neat just to hear the different experiences across the country. Even have, uh, I've inspired some of my local customers. I, I, don't know, I think at, at this point I've had three or four customers over the years that have built ovens after coming and getting my pizza. And I was chatting it up with one guy yesterday, man, and he, real cool guy. He put an oven in his back. He started watching my videos after we were talking and he said, man, just keep at it. He said, who knows, we might just blow up on the YouTube page. Which would be nice, I don't do it for money, but you know, that helps. These small ones are a little bit tougher. But he was saying as well as uh, free time, was telling me he's got a two month wait on his oven. And I think that's kind of across the board right now, standard. COVID has really made a lot of people purchase ovens for their backyard. And, you know, some of you guys starting your businesses. All right. Sometimes these things will blow out a little bit on you and leak, but it's all good. Set the back of the oven far. I just put them in the front. Put them in the front on the deck and let them get going. And then after a while, I'll transfer them over to a uh, a metal pizza pan just so I can keep them on the move and they're easier. All right, let that one ride out. 
and once they they start getting set up, you don't want to move them until you can push them and they'll just release off the floor of the oven. Otherwise, uh, they're going to stick and you're going to tear a hole in them. I like the pepperoni ones, we'll juice all over on you, it's no big deal. That's just pepperoni love. But yeah, the feedback I get from you guys is what keeps me making these videos. I mean, they're, you know, and I learn a lot about myself and how my day to days go by looking back and making some adjustments here and there. I'm more aware of, I'm more aware of what I'm doing because I know I'm putting it out there for you guys to see. So that's a good thing for me too. A little checks and balances after doing it for so long and working by myself. I don't have anybody to call me out so I get out, you know what I'm saying? See things I normally don't see, like I'm losing my hair. I see that in these videos. Sad situation. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. No, it's good stuff, though. I mean, I'm really. You guys, uh, you guys make this worth it for sure. I'm enjoying myself. Enjoying hearing the stories. Because it's an exciting time starting, to, starting your own business. And to be able to start a business that has such a low initial investment, you know, a food truck is is awesome. And whether you're going to be doing it full-time, part-time, events, whatever, you know, there's so much stuff out there. There's church events. There's In Florida, we got great weather, so there's always something going on. But with that being said, you know, you guys got to pick and choose what you do. Don't jump on everything that's available because sometimes they're just a waste of your time. You don't need to load up on dough and load the truck up and get help and go out to an event to do 20 or 30 pies. I mean, you know, your overhead's just going out. You got to make sure you're going to make it worth your while. I like I always like birthday parties because it was a it's a catered deal. You know exactly what you're gonna make. You're paying you to do it. You're not going home with any waste. But uh, you got a lot of breweries now that want you out there. You just got to make sure that they got the clientele enough people. You, you know you uh, you get bars that want to call you out, but are they bars that people are sitting there drinking beer and not looking to eat? They're drinking their dinner. You know what I'm saying? Make sure it's worth your while. And honestly, the one thing I I learned right away is don't be afraid to uh, to push your weight around a little bit. When the pizza when the pizza truck shows up on site, you guys are usually like one of the most popular trucks, if not the most popular truck. Yeah, when you show up to an event, man, everybody loves pizza. Not everybody's had wood fire pizza, so that's an extra little bonus. And uh, you can really do well at events. But some of these events, the people just want way too much. You know, events that want four, five hundred, six hundred bucks or more to do an event, and that's nuts. You know how many pizzas you got to make before you even start to get in the positive? And what happens if no food trucks show up to their event? Then they have no event. So you are part of making their event, and you need to explain that to them. Um, I would beat people up on price, you know. The other thing is uh, I, I always like to do a percentage rather than a flat rate because if it's crappy, crappy event, the weather turns on you, you don't want to give them 250 or 500 bucks if you haven't made any pizzas or if you haven't had a good day. So I like to do a percentage, 5, 10% is the most I like to do. I mean, you can do 15, but it's your business and it stinks to have to pay people to make money. You know what I'm saying? So take that kind of stuff into consideration and tell them straight out. If you're the only pizza truck in your town, say, I'm sorry, I don't pay for events. I might, you know, maybe I'll give you a little bit of uh, 
some proceeds, you know, if it's going to a good cause, if they're just looking to put money in their pocket, then, you know, that's a different story. If it's a charity, if it's a church, if they're raising a fundraiser, you know, I don't mind giving back if I'm, if I'm doing well. So, you know, there's some promoters out there and, and they put these food truck things together and they need food trucks. So, you let them know, hey, I'll come out, but you're costing me too much money. I'll do it for this or I'll do it for that or don't charge me at all. Or if I do good, I'll throw you a hundred bucks, you know, because there's, you can book birthday. There's other events usually. If there's one event going on, there's multiple events going on. Like every church this weekend has something going on. You know, a lot of the, the breweries and the wineries, they just want you out there. They can care less about trying to make money off you. Because if they're good business owners, they know you feed their people, keeps them drinking and having a good time, keeps them there longer. And maybe you got to explain that to them. But... You know, pick and choose, especially if you're the only pizza guy. I never got involved in the food truck rallies because just too much competition, you know. But if they've got a good turnout and they're not charging too much and you think you can go out there and make some money, do it. Get your name out there. That's, I, I did a lot of events when I first started because I needed to get my name out there. There's a... Uh, there's web pages out there now, Facebook pages, you know, like when COVID started, they started one year. Local business guy, which was smart on his part, because he gets, you know, it's a constant, uh, it's a constant uh, advertisement for his business, which has nothing to do with food. But he started a, a Save Fernando County Restaurants uh, Facebook page. And he gets a ton of traffic and people post about local restaurants and food trucks and stuff like that. And if that type of stuff was around when I started, no lie, that those types of pages, the food truck pages, the Hernando, you know, the different review pages, those things can give a food truck or a trailer an easy year to two year head start from what, you know, when I started. I, I just... There was only one or, I think, two other food trucks in my county when I started. And now we got a bunch of them. But, uh, yeah, those pages really help. I mean, they, they'll give you a couple year jump start on your business, which is incredible. And it's free. And if your, if your county doesn't have one of those pages, start it. Like I said, the name of ours is uh, Save say Fernando County restaurants or something like that but you guys you know make up your own and it j it's just about promoting local food trucks and local mom and pop owned restaurants oh these things are so good but yeah you guys are awesome man you guys are really making this a great time for me I don't have a lot of downtime. That's why I don't edit videos or anything else. What I record is what you guys get. Maybe someday we can step up the, you know, the editing and all that kind of fun stuff. But for right now, man, I'm just, I try to squeeze this in and give you guys what I can give you. I don't really get time to do it at home because when I go home, it's time to spend with the wife and the kids. I'll answer some questions here and there on Facebook when I can, you know. But I'm just trying to juggle it all. I'm just one dude. I'm just rolling these corners up and smashing them. Pinch the dough where it comes together. Just so that way they don't leak on you. You're going to get leakage, no big deal. starting to look there's the white pizza one and I'll just turn them wherever they got to go that's that last pepperoni and I just keep them in the front of the oven in a few minutes let me I'll make another one or two 
get them on a baking sheet so I can just spin them around here. Maybe get them a little further at times, but I don't want to burn them up, so I'm just kind of taking it slow. And these things are just a massive hit. I'm going to go ahead and do another white one, and I think that'll be it, because I'm going to do... Uh, I'm going to do an antipasta too for an appetizer for tomorrow. I got some of these sweet peppers. I'll do some sweet peppers. I'll do uh, some banana peppers. I'll do I'll do some chunks of mozzarella cheese, some pepperoni, some ham, some onion, you know, whatever I got. Just cut it all up, throw it in there. Uh, last time I hit it was I don't know what Italian dressing or something some creamy Italian dressing just a little bit mix it all up let it sit for a while and then fire absolutely awesome so using leftover ingredients is you know I always take home what I have if I've got leftover sauce add some on fry up some onions peppers mushrooms throw it in the sauce throw it in the oven you've got an awesome pasta sauce, if I've got shredded chicken left over and onions and peppers and all that stuff, I'll make quesadillas at the house. Just use up the extra stuff, try not to let stuff go to waste. I'm a consumer, not a waster. If it's sitting, I'll consume it. Grandma and Grandpa's tomorrow. Church in the morning. Grandma and Grandpa's in the afternoon. My wife's coming up today with her mom, my mother-in-law, and the kid to have some pizza. So we'll see them after a while. We'll do a little filming when they come up, probably. have any kind of questions I'll do my best to help you um, not a fan of talking numbers you gotta figure some of that stuff out on your own and that's between my account myself and my wife so you know get it tell if it's dripping out of the thing. thing about pizza though man it just uh well food in general brings out a lot of love in people i've only had a few characters over the years with this truck that i've had to deal with and uh for the most part you just have a lot of good vibes good people coming through good experiences good conversations you meet some neat people Yeah. And these 
these uh, these are a little harder to roll up because all the spinach, but that spinach cooks down. That stuff disappears to nothing. That's why I load them up so much. And I remember when I was first learning, I was at a pizza place and they were they put spinach on their pies, but they had it already done and sauteed and. You know, when you put that spinach in the oven, it cooks down to nothing. I just never saw the need to have that extra step, step of pre-cooking your spinach. I put that fresh organic spinach on there and it just cooks down perfect. All right. You don't want to throw too much flour on these because when you're trying to seal them up, they don't seal up as well. It's nice that the dough's a little stickier. Okay, that'll pass. I'm gonna bring you back over here, guys, and take a look at what we got going on. That white one's coming along. Pepperoni needs flip. That pepperoni needs flip. that one right there once that sets up to where I can uh, give it a flip once then I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the uh, the piece of pan and that way I can get them moving in a little bit deeper in the oven I don't want to throw the wood on the fire because you know it'll burn it up the the dough is so thin you know the way I roll them up that it's uh, it'll burn quick on you guys so I'll bring you back in just a minute and we'll uh, we'll take a look at how these are coming along guys see I got them here on the deal I can just a little lazy Susan action I just like to take them and flip them over so you got a little white on that side a little light colored there and this way you're just kind of slow cooking them this one needs a lot more time let's actually spin that around like that Lazy Susan are right on over to that fire. You can see they're starting it. A little bit of the juices are letting loose on them. It's all good. That'll all get it absorbed back in there once they cool down. And, and these I'll just put them in a Ziploc, cut them in half or something, put them in a Ziploc and let them go like that till I'm ready for them tomorrow and I'll cut them up. Throw them in the oven for a few minutes, have a little side of sauce with them, and uh, they're a hit at any party. So, again, guys, I appreciate everything from you guys, the feedback, the love that you send my way, and uh, I hope you guys have a great Easter. God bless you guys, and we'll talk to you soon. Subscribe. I forget to always say that. Appreciate it, guys. Bye.